Oh, hey, would you rather get your gum scraped than try to think of something to post on LinkedIn? Stick around. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I help agency owners scale their businesses. One of the things that I helped my students in Revenue Spark with is learning how to create relevant, engaging content on LinkedIn. But how do you do this? What does it look like? What exactly should you be posting on LinkedIn? We're gonna dive right in. If you're struggling with what to post on LinkedIn, then give this video a thumbs up and let's do it. The first thing you need to understand is that your LinkedIn posts should not be all about you. In fact, for the most part, they shouldn't be about you at all. They should be about your audience, your dream clients. That's who you're speaking to. So you need to start by asking yourself, First of all, who am I trying to reach? And then once you figure that out, you need to ask what are their goals, their pain points, their needs. This is going to heavily influence what you post on LinkedIn. Once you understand your audience and what their goals and their pain points are, jot these things down and have them in front of you when you are starting to draft up your posts so that you can always make sure that you are meeting their needs. Now, when it comes to the posts themselves, there are generally three types of content that your posts will fall into. Information, entertainment, and anecdotes. Those are the three main categories. Let's talk about each of these uh, individually. Information, you can probably guess what that is. It's going to be LinkedIn content that teaches them something. So if you go to my LinkedIn page as an example, first, send me an invite and tell me you found me on YouTube. And then if you go check out my posts, you'll see that I offer a lot of uh, tips and tricks and hacks, different types of information to help my target audience. The reason that informational posts are so powerful is that they provide value and value is how you get people to know, like, and trust you. This is how you can establish yourself as an authority and an expert in your field. The reason you want to be incorporating informational posts is because when it comes to growing your audience online, and this goes for LinkedIn, but also every other platform, you have to give before you can take. I know it's tempting to post on LinkedIn and other platforms and just hard sell and try to get people to take you up on your services. You might be thinking that the best avenue that you can take is to only talk about your offerings, but this actually doesn't work. Understandably, you might be thinking, okay, but if I use my LinkedIn posts to help people, then they'll have no need to hire me. But do you really think you can tell them everything that they need to know on LinkedIn? No. You're giving them little nuggets, teeny tiny, of information to help them have a small win. And when you do that, you are demonstrating the value that you offer and they're going to come back for more. So that's information. The second type of content is entertainment. And entertainment doesn't necessarily teach them anything, although it can, but first and foremost, it exists to make them laugh or think or motivate them. Sometimes I will post motivational quotes on LinkedIn or I will take something like a silly video that I recorded for TikTok and I will repurpose it for LinkedIn. It's not teaching them something necessarily, but it's still relevant to my audience. And in the case of my TikTok content in particular, normally I'm trying to make people laugh. I don't know how successful I am, but I'm trying. The third type of LinkedIn post that you can share is anecdotes. So we're talking about sharing stories about things that actually happened to you or someone you know. In my LinkedIn posts, a lot of the time, I'm sharing my own personal experiences with building my agency. So I talk about mistakes that I made and what I would do differently if I were to do it all over again. These are my personal experiences, but they're still very relevant to the people who follow me. As you've probably noticed, there is some overlap between these three categories. A post can be both informational and entertaining or anecdotal or some combination of the three, and that's great. I wanna reiterate that no matter what type of content you're posting, the most important thing is that it provides value to your audience. If it doesn't provide some sort of value, don't post it. And a very simple way to figure out if content that you're considering sharing provides value is to read it over and ask yourself, what does my audience get out of this? If you can't answer that question, go back and spend more time on it. Now, after getting through this part of my program, a lot of students will email me and be like, wait a minute, so does that mean I can never talk about my services on LinkedIn? You can, and you should. In the context of content that is 
informational, entertaining, or anecdotal. I have completely eliminated LinkedIn posts that purely say, hire my agency or enroll in my program because they don't work. Who cares? No one cares. My audience doesn't get anything out of content that is just straight up selling. Instead, what I might do is, for example, share a success story about a student of mine who landed his first two clients within three weeks, which actually happened. And then at the end of that post, I might say something like, if you're interested in learning how he did it, DM me to talk about Revenue Spark. So I'm still talking about my program or in some cases my agency, but I'm doing it after providing value. Give before you take. Don't forget that you want to include hashtags in your post. I have a whole separate video on this, so I will drop the link in the description below. If you want to learn more about how I've used LinkedIn and a few other tools to scale my agency to almost $20,000 a month in revenue, scroll down and click the link below this video to learn more about my program, Revenue Spark, the Agency Accelerator. You see what I did there? I provided value throughout this whole video and then I told you to go check out my program. Funny how that works. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you made it this far, please give this video a thumbs up and help support my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.